Okay, so uh, today I'm going to talk to you about uh, putting uh, stranded wires around the screw without them fraying out. We're u they're using a THHN stranded. And also I'm going to talk to you about the color code here for wiring. And uh, here in the United States where I'm born, the uh, only colors that are acceptable for neutral is a white wire or a gray wire. Black, blue, and red are your live wires with 120 and 208. And uh, with the uh, higher voltage 480, 277, brown, orange, and yellow are live, and gray is the neutral. But you'd always want to check the voltage before you uh, hook up anything to it because uh, red and black could be used on uh, 480. Okay, so here the uh, green is the ground, red is the live, and the black is uh, neutral and it's not supposed to be used as a neutral. So we're going to show you how to mark it. You can buy uh, white electrical tape and we will mark this black wire neutral. So putting the white tape around the, the black wire will let people know that this is neutral. Now in some cases like in uh, switch loops and 220 circuits the white is going to be live so you can do the same thing there with uh, black tape or red tape. So now we uh, made this uh, black wire neutral. So now I'm going to show you how we hook the outlet up. Okay, so we're going to strip just what we need to put around the screw. Squeeze it in just to cut through the insulation. Be careful not to uh, break any of the strands off. And we'll take a little bit more here at the end, just squeeze down like that. Bring that insulation up to the very end, just like that. And we'll do the same with the uh, live wire here. Strip what you need to put around the screw. And we'll bring a little bit of the insulation up to hold the strands together. And we'll bring it up like that. Now with the ground wire we'll strip just what we need to put under the wire nut like that. And we'll just pull our insulation off. Okay, so... Now there's uh, four screws on each side of the outlet, so we're going to turn in the screws that we're not going to be using. And we're going to take these screws, uh, this screw out here, I'll, I'll show you why. See how long this screw is and see how far back this connector is? When you put this screw in, it will hit that connector and it can uh, it will just strip your hole out and the outlet will be loose. So we had uh, uh, a shorter screw cut to hold the outlet in. 
Okay, so we're going to hook this outlet up. Okay, so the uh, red is our live wire. So I'm going to take and I'm going to twist these strands together like that. And I'm going to put it around the brass screw. Like that. See how those strands all stay nice and together? Now we'll do our neutral wire. I'll take, twist my strands together like that. And uh, we marked this black wire neutral. So we're going to put the wire around the screw like this. And that bit of insulation there will keep those strands together. Now we'll take and pigtail our uh, ground wires together here to ground the outlet. And ground it to the green screw in the box. So we'll twist them together. Clip the ends off so that they're even. And we will pigtail them all together. We'll get the uh, strands even with the end of the solid wires there like that. And we'll put our wire nut on. And the uh, bare wire will go around the green screw like this. Now you don't want to have too much sticking out the back here because you don't want it to touch a live conductor. That's about the most I'd have it coming out. And the uh, longer screw can go in the bottom because uh, there is nothing there that the uh, it would hit. But on this one, you'll hit that connector, and that's why we cut a, a short screw for that.